The second one, so we talked about the radio, now we're going to another common media used in distance learning, audio teleconferencing, okay? Audio, we understand what it means just uh, sound, and teleconferencing, tele means telecommunications. So audio teleconferencing allows for individuals or groups of people at two or more locations to hear and be heard clearly, okay? So in order to maximize the use of this, we have seen the use of in telecom, arranging put in place where people live and it's a two-way interactive conversation during this time because you, you need to use a telephone. You have mobile phone, maybe at this time we can use the mobile phone, but that time those who could use a landline, we had a landline with a cable to run. After that, with the advancements of technology, we had now cordless handsets where now we can use a cord and then you can so so in this one we are we are using the 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 telephone as one medium of you know communication and this mode of instruction it facilitates the chat between the learners uh, in a separate or far remote areas who are in the classroom okay so in that case uh, here the the provider or the producer must have a smart a speaker phone connected in the classroom so that people can hear as they is delivering the, the lecture. What are the advantages and what are the advantages for this one? It's cost effective. How? Cost effective in that in the, you can deliver uh, the, 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 the message or instructional material to learners at a cheaper cost. Okay? So that's why we say it's, it's, it's cost effective. Then two, we are saying it's easy to use, okay? It's considered as one of the most easily accessible form of telecommunication, okay? So it's easier to use, okay? Commercial phone, like companies now who are dealing with phones, okay? They have made it easier to set up audio teleconferences by any interested distance learning. So these companies, they have designed in such a way. Okay, let me just give an example. For example, like... Now, students, these grade 7 or grade 9s and grade 12, if they want to get their results, you find that the ZAMTEO does facilitate in terms of issuance of, res of result results, printing of the results. So, instead of that student or that you know, learner to go and start looking where they can go, maybe to go examination council to get the results, they are able now to these commercial mobile companies, one of them is Zamtel, they go and access their results see, right away. Within a shortest period of time, they are able to access the results. So these are some of the examples that maybe we are looking at uh, this issue of advantages of audio. So it's interactive. People, the, the learners can interact in form of sharing information between themselves as learners as well as a teacher to learner interaction as well as a fellow to learner interaction that's all so in that way even if participants they are coming from different location within their locality they should be able to to interact yeah so as i was saying earlier that we looked at the advantages of audio teleconferencing now let's go further now to look at the limitations of this medium okay so there's lack of visual information since it's audio they are just listening with the sound, but in terms of the eyes, they can't see, okay? So there's lack of visual information. You know that believe, seeing is believing, right? But when you see something, then you believe in it, isn't it? Yeah, so what we are saying that it was this mode of uh, uh, media in distance learning lacks that. And then two, we are talking about poor audio. These could be problems that are related to poor receiving of messages. Sometimes if the message or the one who produces the program or the study material or whichever, then if they have, have encountered some problems, okay, maybe poor recording or more, maybe picture viewing not clear, that can distort the, the message to the learners. So in other ways, the information may not be received as intended by the facilitator also, and students. So in that case, then they may, for example, improvide 
If they, they don't, they may provide, if they don't have a speak, they may provide an amplifier, maybe to increase in terms of the sound. Okay. Lack of experience. In certain situations where students are not used the form of delivery, if they are not educated or they are not taught on how they should do it or how they should listen, then this may become a problem because they have no experience. They have never used it before. Even me, these smartphones, since they came, well, I didn't know how to use them until we are taught by some people that you know how to use them and how to use it to use it as a teaching gadget. So if in a situation where students or these learners in various locations and they don't have uh, the, the, they don't have the experience or they have not done it before. So me, I, I could recommend that in such a situation where such students may be helped in terms of the delivery.